Hi there, sign of Pisces. This is Kim. I am going to pull a little reading for you tonight. Um, next 48 hour reading using the modern goddess tarot, uh, not tarot, the modern goddess oracle deck first, and then I'll pull a tarot reading for you. We actually might pull some archetype cards too after this. What goddess wants to give some assistance maybe to Pisces if they want to call on them? What goddess has assistance for Pisces? <clears throat> Calling in Pisces angel spirit guides by yourself. Yamoja. Okay. The merwoman. The oceans. Sorting out the emotions for sure. Yamoja. Okay, I'm looking it up, so bear with me here. Because um, I want to give you the exact right meaning here. This is about cleansing. So you, you might be doing a detox too. This might be regarding a detox. Um... Cleansing, fish, salt water, calorie cell, uh, shells. Sorry, I like the necklace she's got on. Yamoja is the mother of all Orishas and the patron spirit of rivers and oceans. There's a special connection to the Ogun River in Nigeria and is a water deity in the Yoruba region. She's associated with protection and cleansing and easing people's suffering. I feel like this is a cleanse. And I mean, it might be like very literal, like you're adding water, fluid, something like that to your diet. I mean, it, it might be something very, very literal here. I don't know. <clears throat> you could have a connection with mermaids too. They all have different things that we're connected to. Or different signs and synchronicities that come out for us. So, getting messages for Pisces. Archetypal deck from the Wild Unknown, Kim Kranz. The medallion. The medallion. Are you getting a medal? Or is something being passed down to you? is uh, i mean this could be like uh, a ring or well any kind of anything any trinket that's passed down it might be talking about something like that yeah Ooh, nine cups on the bottom nice ace of pentacles too all right let's go to the original tarot now and see what we can get as far as for you pisces Whoa, <laughs> something just didn't go together at all. Maybe that's happened to you. One more really good shuffle and then we will. Okay. Bottom of the deck, four of pentacles in the reverse though. That's not bad. The four of pentacles in the reverse is kind of like, um, it's, it's letting go of lack it's letting go of like mentality, which is I better hold on to this or I, I need more money because I just keep needing more and more and more and there's no real need for something. Like how much do you need? That's kind of the like once you let go of your attachment, you let go of the lack feeling, um, attracting lack. Four of swords is the challenge to you moving forward. The, the challenge to you moving forward is your healing. You got some demons. You have some demons. Everybody has demons, but we'll talk about these. So we'll talk about your demons. Everybody has demons. Everybody has. So healing your demons. Healing your demons. Oh my goodness going to bring you your ten of pentacles guys seriously 
Wow. Queen of Swords. Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. You just don't see it yet. You don't see it, but it's so coming. Queen of Pentacles. There's your King of Pentacles. Are you serious? Okay, so you guys. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Somebody really sees you as their soulmate. I don't know if you see this person as your soulmate, though. I think you have to stand in your truth. Somebody might be really wanting to offer you a ton of money here. Or just a lot of money just to be with them. I don't know if you're wanting to. Somebody might already be committed in something else. Or with someone else, but really wanting you. Or this reading is like you need to move forward. You've got some demons holding you back. Uh, that they stopped you from doing something in the past, too. They stopped you from moving forward in the past. Now they're stopping you from moving here in the present. But the Ten of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles is like, if you don't see this, my God, it's coming in. You have 13 Pentacles all together here. And then real love. I told you. So many, there's soulmate energy around you, but you're not. I don't know if this person's just not. You're tight. I don't know. You're not feeling something. <laughs> but you, it's because you have your demons. You've got your demons to deal with. You have real love, partnership, good partnerships, and letting go of an attachment to any kind of expectation or outcome or lack or anything. Just expecting good to come. That's what this reading's about. You should just expect good to come because it is. The only thing here with a slightly pessimistic outlook, which might be the demons, which you are beating too. You are healing these demons because it's in reverse. But it is you. Let me get back to what I was saying. You, your outlook, what you think about, what you think about is the Page of Cups in the reverse. And what you feel is the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. I mean, this is like what you're thinking is that something is not hopeful at all. Or that something is, yeah, has no hope, right? The Queen of Pentacles is in reverse. Is to how you feel. You could be feeling like something's not going your way or like you are being um, limited in the resources that you have at this exact moment, but something's going to come flooding in. If you're, you could be someone who is waiting on their like soulmate type energy, but this is the connection. So I have something that's going to start moving forward now because you have successfully beat off your demons that in the past, whatever these demons are to you, you know, these things can represent addictions, vices, um, relationships that are toxic to us that are just kind of like we're attached for some reason, maybe karma. And it stopped you in the past. That's why we have the fool in reverse. In the now moment, not only do you have healing, do you have the chariot, which is moving forward in something. Um, the only thing that could hold you back was your own demons. So you let go. And the moment you let go, things are going to come flooding in. The moment you let go of, I need to hold on to this because I need more, more, more. It, then it comes in. You even have like a pinnacle or what looks like gold or pinnacle and a diamond here for your for your card. You get the truth here in the future. You, if you remain focused, you find your truth. You live in your truth and you make good decisions. This can be indicating a really good decision, a wise decision here with the two of cups, because that could be, you know, about choices and things like that. This is somebody that really cares about somebody else here um, on the card, at least touching the other person's hand gently. So sign-wise, I have, could have Aries, Cancer, Capricorn, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or Gemini. I'll throw that in too. So we'll get um, clarifying. We really don't have to do too much clarifying because it was, it was pretty good. I mean, it's pretty, pretty good to read. This person, I think, is somebody 
that's going to, well, they're your soulmate. I don't know. It kind of feels like maybe you're on your way to meet this person or maybe you're traveling right now. Maybe you're somebody's in the process of traveling. I want to find out. Well, let's start with the past here. Let's start with the past since we are linear beings. So let's linearize this. The fool. What, what did you not take a leap of faith in? It's probably love. Like I always, what, right when I answer, like, right when I say your questions, I always get the answer, like right, right away. And I'm like, dang it. Cause I was going to pull a card for that. It doesn't always match. <laughs> it doesn't always match. I'll tell you that. Five of ones in the reverse. Cause you're done playing games, done playing games, done with competition. You're not really wanting to compete for something. And Yeah. You weren't you weren't for down for the games. That's what I'm really feeling. It's more like games arguing. We're like we're not gonna have that. We don't want that arguing. That's not part of a good relationship, and you don't want it to be part of yours. So you didn't take a leap of faith on something. You were you stayed back. You pulled back for fear of some kind of drama. What's the devil in reverse? What are these wonderful shadow energies that we are getting uh, light on, and we are really. It feels like, ooh, it feels like we are beating them. Anything that told you you couldn't have it all, basically, because it feels like your demons tell you with the Ten of Pentacles right here in reverse and the Tower in reverse is that they're telling you, your demons are telling you, no matter what you want to build, nothing's ever going to stick. You're never going to have as much as you want. That feeling is from the devil. That energy is from the devil, and that leads us to holding on too tightly to people, places, situations, and then what happens? Well, they leave. So we're healing that energy. It's a self-sabotage energy, but it is due to your personal demons. So this could have been something that unconsciously stopped your progress every time, but it's not going to this time. Now let's do this. No, it's not going to this time. Because you are going to rebuild Scorpio energy, um, Virgo energy here too with the Ten of Pentacles. This is always, like I say, in the mail. Look at that. You're really uh, reflecting something. It, it feels like you're mirroring something. As above, so below. You're in the process and in transition. you driving between the state of this being afraid of not having any pentacles or yeah and having everything crushed and then you're into you're you're in transition to it building into something really great you just need to stay focused and driven um the challenge is can you heal this and move on can you heal something and move on what is it that they're wanting you to heal Or recommending you heal. And look, it says Nine of Wands is pointing to the King of Pentacles. Seriously. <laughs> and then we have King of Pentacles. So wanting you to heal a situation in the past where somebody maybe wasn't so committed. This person has changed a whole lot. I don't know if they messed up in the past or not. But it was a situation where we just didn't think something was hopeful. Maybe it's talking about the family business too and the money. Because like here, this would be like soulmates, but not together and not having a good time right now. But this is what we're healing because if you want to, because now the situation is much more hopeful. The Page of Cups, this person has really changed. I'm fearing that like did a 180. This person has changed, matured, and grown up and is committed. So it, it just depends on if you're wanting that, if you're ready to heal something or or not there's always the not but I, I get the energy of not giving up of really not wanting to give up here and somebody may have a really nice gift for you with this medallion too to kind of like prove like oh i'm doing better and <laughs> here you go you know why is the queen of pentacle in reverse why is the queen of pentacle in reverse Queen of Cups in reverse because we're not taking time out to take care of ourselves adequately. We need to take care of ourselves a little bit better. Watch, um, hey, watch your fluid intake. That might be something really important for you guys with that Yamoja coming out. Somebody has changed. 
Somebody has changed. Cancerian energy, Capricorn energy again as to what you're feeling. What is the Queen of Swords talking about going after? And also being very protective. Being very protective. Okay. Determined to have completion and a new cycle. Maybe determined eventually to get something going regarding travel. Hmm. Look at that. King of Pentacles, the world in reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles. Just kind of let them... Oh. I think if you stay focused on rebuilding this tower energy, things are hopeful. There's a hopeful new beginning here. Uh, and something's going to flourish, whether it's this business or this entrepreneurial er energy or getting really good advice to move forward. I think that's part of the advice is to get some more information with the page of swords in the reverse do your own investigating before you make any big decisions all right the page of cups is like i said it was in the reverse it's what you're thinking is not so hopeful but spirit tell us why this is actually we should be thinking of how hopeful something is why should we change that thinking around yeah, because this time there's no deception or somebody's not lying to you. There's no deception this time. Something was found out. There's no deception. Two of cups or exposed or exposed. And there we go. The chariot. <laughs> That's the challenge to this. Moving something forward. Something lightening your load, lightening or lightening, <laughs> making your burdens not so heavy. What's the information that we need to find out? Who betrayed us or if this person cheated, who they cheat on or what did it, what happened behind your back or what happened with the money? <laughs> That's another thing because the three cups is in reverse. You could have over, somebody could have overdone it. Yeah, disappointment in a friend or be friend betrayal and disappointment. I think it's attached to this King of Pentacles. It may be a Cancerian energy to a friend that we are uh, upset with or Aquarius. But Cancer is coming out a whole lot in your reading. Um, what was exposed with the Seven of Swords? What was exposed? <laughs> the Sun. What's not fair, what has been not equal is exposed. Uh, what's not reciprocal, what's not fair. That was what was exposed. And maybe some justice issues too that need to be wrapped up or whatever. All right, so I'm going to end your reading with real talk here, Pisces. Royalty. Acknowledge the royalty in your DNA, courtesy the divine in your ancestors. The blood that runs through your veins is made up of the same particles that create our universe. Hold your head up high and display your crown. That's right. Wear your crown. Connected. You are always connected to the wisdom of your higher self and everything around you. Take cues from your energy level and intuition. It's just as important to know when to disconnect from your own well-being. So don't overdo it. You may get some burnout if you overdo it. All right, my lovely Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your reading and got something from it. Love and light as usual. Bye, guys.